Hello and welcome. I would like to explain to you the effect climate change has on water resources through the process of salt water intrusion. As you know, water is essential for life. For instance, your body consists for 70% out of water and is essential for food production, drinking and industry. This water is under threat from salt water intrusion. What is salt water intrusion? Salt water intrusion is the movement of salt water into freshwater aquifers and associated surface water bodies, which can lead to contamination of drinking water and soils with salt, making water and soil unusable. Where and how is it happening? As you know, more than half of the population of the world is urban, but also mainly coastal. Half of the world population lives within 60 kilometers from the sea and three quarters of all large cities are located on the coast. In the figure shown here you can see the major cities are positioned in the areas under threat by flooding from the sea. Under maximum estimated sea level rise. Here you can see North America and here you can see Asia and Europe is presented here. In addition to this, we have a map of the current coastal groundwater impacted by saltwater intrusion for Europe. As you can see, the areas prone to coastal flooding are overlapping with the regions prone to salt intrusion into the groundwater. As the urban population grows and rural inhabitants move and settle in the coastal areas, this has an impact on the coastal groundwater resources. They abstract increasing amounts of groundwater for agriculture, drinking water and industry. The water that is taken from the underground must be replaced and in coastal areas this is salt water from the sea. What also happens is that as the fresh water is extracted, the land subsides, it goes down making it more vulnerable for flooding and salt water inflows through the surface water. When it goes together with geologically based subsidence, severe salt water intrusion into ground and surface water can occur. One of the places in the world where these processes are creating a very strong subsidence is Jakarta in Indonesia. The current average land subsidence rate there is 7.5 to 10 centimeters per year along the coastline. Future population growth in the delta and increasing need for drinking water are likely to aggravate the problems in Jakarta further. But the same holds for other delta areas such as the polders in the Netherlands where the salt surface level dropped 4 meters in 4 centuries. Another example are the industrial areas around Ho Chi Minh City in Vietnam, located in the Mekong and Dong Nai Delta. In many of these locations, groundwater extraction needs to be stopped. But groundwater abstraction in the coastal area is not the only cause for shortage of fresh water resources in coastal regions. Also in the change in recharge of groundwater system uh, adds to the uh, freshwater shortage problem. There are two major aspects to this. Firstly, climate change alters rain patterns, like longer and more frequent dry periods and more intense short rain events. The second factor is the construction of large dams, often managed for hydropower or local water needs. As a result, delta areas are confronted with lower river discharge and this leads to reduced groundwater recharge and increased saltwater intrusion in estuaries. At the same time, the sea level is expected to rise, as I have shown you before, thereby threatening the subsiding cities to be flooded, but also pushing more salt water into the rivers and groundwater. So in summary, Urbanized coastal areas and the surrounding agricultural lands are under threat from three factors that influence the state of fresh groundwater stocks, and this is worldwide. Increasing groundwater extraction, 
reduced rainwater infiltration and sea level rise driving saltwater intrusion. All of which put groundwater resources at risk. So in inclusion, Delta uh, cities have to cope with reduced freshwater availability. And do you have any ideas how to solve this problem?